warming stations will be open tomorrow. Temperatures may be very, very cold, definitely cold enough to get people inside for something warm if they don't have a warm place to go. Yeah, so that's important. It's happening. He's talking about snow, which only confuses me a little bit more than puppy monkey baby did in that commercial tonight. <laughs> I, I, I'm still clueless on that. Puppy one. monkey baby. Yeah, pu very good. See, I can't even do that. I you watch. Know, we've got uh, temperatures that will actually fall during the day tomorrow. Mm. Wow. So it's, it's going to be getting colder as we get later into the day. And there is the chance of a little bit of light snow falling by late tomorrow into tomorrow evening. There's just not going to be enough to get any accumulation. Plus, the ground is pretty warm at this point, so it wouldn't support it. Let's look at our storm track uh, forecast as we go through the remainder of our day. Tomorrow, you'll see the cloud cover will be in place, hit and miss light showers. That will carry right into the 5 o'clock hour. Now, where we do have rain, it is going to be light. This is going to be the back side of an area of low pressure, and that's why all of this will be wrapping around the back side. The only problem with that is, is it moves very quickly. So with that in mind, we will see the rain falling, but it is just not going to be able to. There's not enough moisture to really get a decent rainfall total out of it. 43 right now for Birmingham. Winds out of the west southwest at 6. The dew point down to 25. So the atmosphere is pretty dry. You factor in the wind chill. Well, it feels like 39 now for Birmingham. Temperatures across the region. The cold spot right now. No, well, there's two of them actually. It's Jasper. As well as Aniston, 34 in Gadsden, Pell City, you're at 39, 42 in northern Shelby County, and Tuscaloosa, we've got 36. So these temperatures will not necessarily drop a whole lot more tonight. As a matter of fact, with the cloud cover moving in, we may see a few of those start to bump up a degree or two. Here's our storm track radar right now. There's just nothing happening across Alabama at this point, but we do have showers to the north. Look at that. Decent amount of light rain, but nothing real heavy out of this. And if you get a little further towards the north, that's where we're starting to see some of the snow. And that is across parts of Iowa back into northern Missouri for now. Well, that is all headed towards the south and east. Not a whole lot in the way of cloud cover yet, but that will be changing. I wanted to show you our color contours map and notice the white area. That's where it's below 20 degrees. Now watch to the north of us, that colder air starting to nose into the upper Mississippi Valley. We'll be chilly here across the south tomorrow. We'll warm up a little bit, but it won't last long. By 5, 6 o'clock, that colder air continues to push in. It will be breezier. And look at this. Watch this area right here. That's what's going to nose down towards the south. That is that much colder air. Again, this is not going to be record breaking, but it is going to be a very chilly day on Tuesday with temperatures starting out into the 20s in the morning. Throughout the afternoon, we will only get into the mid 30s for highs. Here's our storm track future cast through the remainder of tonight into tomorrow. We will have a few high clouds and then this starts to happen. As we get into the six o'clock hour, we'll see some light snow around Hamilton back down into uh, Fayette. These snow showers will pass periodically throughout tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Again, though, this is not going to be enough to have any impact or any accumulation. It'll be fun to watch, but a lot of it will be happening during the overnight hours and into early Tuesday. Then we start to clear late in the day through our western counties, but forecast models have a tricky time trying to deal with the uh, colder air and the cloud cover, so I'm going to keep us cloudy through Tuesday. There are your flurries, and by Wednesday, Thursday, we're dry. Chance of a few showers back in here by Friday. We do start to warm up, but it's going to be cold for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thank you, Mike.